spheres are out, and that is going to really give him a lot of staying power. So we can see here that Stardust has put up his incubation center. This guy looks to be upgraded. The Normally, Borg players will put these up right around 100 uh, supply and expect to get some of that back. Nonetheless, this is going to uh, decrease the amount of ships that he can produce because that's a little bit of a chunk of resources. So oddly enough, these spheres are looking to move over here. It looks like they're going to support this expansion. I believe that um, Stardust is sort of expecting a bit of a a raid on his economy here not it's actually not coming or he could just be just could be the AI pathing uh, the other thing too is he could be hiding in this nebula to uh, shake any uh, cloak tails which might uh, might be hanging around so in the meantime the what was three scout cubes looks to have engaged and have lost one of them. So here, Durr has decided to bottle up and is going Intelligence Center. So this is going to be uh, a nice move by Durr. He's going to give him a lot of intelligence on the field. And you can see that the Intelligence Center going immediately going off. Um, so here we have Wow! Immediately getting one of the spheres. I was looking to see what it got, and he picked up a sphere immediately and destroyed it. With the intelligence center making its presence felt in a very strong way. That is going to set Stardust back a lot. And Durr, knowing that he's got a huge advantage right now, is going to press that and very intelligently. So he needs to come out if he can take this sphere or take this expansion while he's got a leg up. That sphere kill really, really um, put him into a strong offensive position. Stardust feeling like he needs to make a move on something. Going to find himself running up against three of these, um, a whole fleet, and supported by this support ship, which can ta which can occasionally uh, knock out its weapons with its plasma bolt. Nonetheless, the, the sphere is taking out reins as it's going, able to, oh, the uh, support, able to knock out the weapons of the sphere for momentarily, and the Romans are going to lose one of their reins. That is going to be uh, just a little bit of a less firepower. And you can see in the meantime that the Bork getting, again, tagged with the... Plasma Bolt, and just barely losing that Scout Cube. The Romulans losing all of their reins, but those are really kind of the cheap uh, low-end vessels at the moment, and the Sphere doing decent damage. But uh, the Romulans doing a good job of uh, repairing uh, damaged ships. So the Borg being forced to retreat back, and the Borg actually almost have this uh, support ship, and they are going to get it. I don't know why. Durr, just a little bit of mismicromanagement here. The scout cubes coming in, and a probe going, wow, just that extra little bit of uh, scout cube damage soaking up has given the sphere a, an edge up, has allowed it to just last a little bit longer, and he's now trailing these frigate refits. An excellent play, excellent play by Stardust going to be able to take out, and you can see that Durr is a little bit afraid to um, cloak because he he knows his he knows that there's a detector on the board with this probe. Uh, nonetheless, the probe itself is actually out of energy, not going to be able to do anything, but provide just that little bit of extra shielding to that sphere. And that's really all that it was used for. So in the meantime, we can see that that intelligence center itself has been busy. It is in the process of tagging things. The question is, where is it being tagged? The you can see that it's tagged one of the the buildings here. 
if the resource if it is able to tag any of these resource assimilators those are also good targets too the other thing too that the board can do is they can really um, make sure that they refresh uh, do their refresh cycle and that'll clear the spot the the spy off of it nonetheless you can see that intelligence center being very very heavily used and rightly such so looking for that other spy on the Borg however we're just not seeing it and maybe it is just going a little bit of the, of the, the spy is actually failing perhaps now the Borg's moving up and they've re reacquired a little bit of a strength and that they have a number of probes on the board. These probes are not super strong. Nonetheless, they just do seem to be fairly resilient for their cost. They're, they're, they're cheap, and they don't have any collective connection cost associated with them, so the board can kind of uh, spam them to a degree, give themselves a little bit of extra um, hull, if you will. Now up here, you can see that Stardus has managed to put his detector just up in the corner kind of out of sight gives them a view of what's going on here Durr uh, producing another uh, support ship and this his fleet of five frigate refits are now down a little bit oddly enough he is still he's still building from one star yard and he he's really heavily relying on his intelligence center now these two spheres are slowly making their way up this support trying to lay mines you can hear them going off and you can see them but nonetheless that is not going to be a good because this needs to have its plasma bolt out and taking out the weapons of these spheres uh, nonetheless these spheres are going to waltz right in on these on the Romulan base and here they are going to move in on the Dalethium mining um, <laughs> Feeling a lot of pressure from that intelligence center, they're going to straight attack it, try to get it out, as it does pose a real threat to the Borg. So I would expect a little bit of, there we go, the plasma bolt, and getting that uh, weapons down, taking the firepower off on this uh, sphere is going to help reduce the damage being taken. One of the probes going out, um, they are really heavily just trying to take out this intelligence center. I don't know if that was... I'm going to give Stardust credit. That's probably the best thing to do, as otherwise they would just be microwing the ships for repair like it's being done. But nonetheless, he is losing a couple. But it does look like he is going to get this intelligence center. The intelligence center looking to get its last use off. Um, and the... Again, the support making itself felt with the disabling of the weapons but they did causing the intelligence center to be <laughs> to be decommed uh, and the Borg are now ignoring it basically looking to take out ships managed to get that support ship out oh that was a big big boon for him pulling in his probe moving in on Durr's uh, Dilithium mining and just taking out taking out uh, offensive ships now this is going to give Stardust, the advantage here. These ships are not getting repaired quick enough, and these Borg ships are doing just so much damage to them. Really, you can see with that regen, these guys are just tanking that starbase. So here comes the backing off a little bit, getting out of the range of that starbase, taking no additional fire, no more than needed. Here we see Durr trying to draw them back in. Nonetheless, these Borg ships. I don't know what happened here. A little bit of mismicro, a little bit of AI, probably just annoying that the OMG for the, uh, the the minor lost ship that he really shouldn't have lost. And at this point, you can see that he is trying to transition into Laval's as these frigates were just not doing enough damage, not able to produce them in uh, enough quantities. Uh, nonetheless, this is going to end up working very much in to Stardust's favor. Very nice play here. Durr decomming even his mining base. At this point, I expect this to be a GG. Stardust with these two spheres.
going to be able to waltz in here.